Hello, my name is Dr. Rodney Miller and it is my privilege to be the Dean of the College of Fine Arts at Wichita State University. We are, for the month of May, highlighting the four schools in the College of Fine Arts. And for today, we are highlighting the School of Art, Design and Creative Industries. Uh, the College of Fine Arts at Wichita State is the only comprehensive College of Fine Arts in the state of Kansas. And we're very proud of our long and storied tradition of hiring internationally renowned faculty who mentor, teach, and train our students to go out and make an impact internationally, nationally, and locally in their various um, endeavors. Uh, it is my privilege now to introduce you to the director of the School of Art, Design, and Creative Industries, Jeff Pulaski. Jeff, take it away. Thanks, Rodney. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us today to talk about the School of Art, Design, and Creative Industries at Wichita State. Uh, we look forward to meeting you in person this fall when you come to campus and begin your university journey with us. I want to spend just a minute talking about the name of our school and what that means to you as a student. Our school is more than just painting and drawing classes. Our faculty are dedicated to helping you find your artistic voice and your place in the world after graduation. Several years ago, we added Creative Industries to the name because we wanted to acknowledge the professional work that our graduates do every single day. Artists and designers are professionals who add a great deal to our economy and our everyday lives. We want to help you join that community. Every one of you is already an artist, and we want to help make you a professional. Let's talk a little bit about the school. ADSI is one of only five accredited art and design schools in the state of Kansas. On campus, we occupy four buildings with more than 120,000 square feet of space for students to work and explore the visual arts. For safety and security, our buildings are locked outside of normal class hours, but our students can access the facilities with their student ID anytime the creative urge strikes. Most of our third and fourth year students have access to semi-private studio space, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. McKnight Art Center is a three building complex connected by a series of walkways. These buildings house art education, art history, graphic design, painting, drawing, printmaking, and photography. Pretty much all the two-dimensional art programs that we offer. McKnight also houses the Ulrich Museum of Art, WSU's modern and contemporary art museum. Across the street is Henry and Hall. It houses all the three-dimensional art programs like ceramics and sculpture, as well as our graduate students. Henry and is a complex of two former basketball gymnasiums and a football stadium, so there's plenty of room to spread out. Henry and Henry and Hall includes a metal foundry where we cast aluminum, bronze, and iron. And it also includes a kiln yard with a large variety of gas and wood fired kilns. We have a fully equipped wood shop and metal shop for anything that you want to create. So let's talk just a few minutes about degrees. We offer two different types of degrees in a wide range of subject matters. The Bachelor of Arts degree, or BA, is a liberal arts degree where you can study a wide range of subjects and interests. With this degree, you choose a minor or a foreign language proficiency as part of your studies. The Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, or BFA, is a much deeper dive into one specific subject, like printmaking or graphic design, art ed, any of those subjects. You can choose the area that fits your interests and talents the most. In a few minutes, faculty members from the school will talk to you about those specific areas. But first, let me give you a brief overview of each year at WSU. So regardless of your eventual plan, uh, all of our students enter the school as a BA and art major. The first two years of our programs are exploratory in nature, and we want you to have the opportunity to feel sure about the choices you make for your degree. During your first year, you will work through our foundation curriculum. This is a series of courses meant to cover the basics of drawing, 2D design, 3D design, and art in general. This gives everyone a common footing and vocabulary in the visual arts. Second year, students take a series of introductory courses in the area that interests you most, and then apply to the program at the end of the year. 
This is when you officially become an art education, art history, graphic design, or studio art major. When you get to your third and fourth year, you'll take a deep dive into the specific discipline you are studying to develop the work that will make up your final portfolio. Our graphic design and studio art students present their final work in a senior thesis exhibition at WSU Shift Space Gallery. So that's kind of a general overview of the school and the curriculum. And next, I want to turn it over to Art Education to talk about their program. Thanks, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Lori Santos. I'd like to welcome you and congratulate you on choosing Wichita State University. Your journey to become an art educator is an honorable and rewarding career path. Art education nurtures the seed of creativity in every child. It is an opportunity to teach children how to develop a sense of self and to explore personal expression, a gift that lasts a lifetime. You get to be a part of that. At WSU, you will find exemplary faculty who will assist you in becoming the best version of yourself as an art educator. You will learn how to be a contemporary art educator as well in this ever-changing world. WSU Art Education is an exciting and dynamic program. We are about progressing art education toward a future that values creativity, culture, and community. You will find a space to explore your own creativity along with learning methods to guide your future students. You will find a culture of acceptance and celebration and opportunities to network with your professional community through the Kansas Art Education Association and the National Art Education Association. As a student at WSU, you will take coursework that is relevant to modern life and hone your art skills within a studio focus of your choice. You will have real world opportunities to engage with domestic and international professional artists and art communities. Recently, we have connected with students and communities from Wichita to Lima, Peru. As you complete your program, you will participate in a year long internship with the Wichita Public Schools, the largest district in Kansas. You can also feel confident in knowing that nearly 100% of WSU art education graduates find employment upon graduation in the field of art education. We look forward to you joining us and working together to help you build a career that you will cherish and be proud of. Thank you and let's hear a little bit more from Art History. Welcome and congratulations, new shockers. My name is Brittany Lockard. I'm the area head and associate professor of art history. Um, if you have already decided to be an art history major, you are way ahead of the game. And if you haven't, I hope you'll fall in love with us when you get here. Art history as a discipline is the study of visual art in its social and historical context and how it creates meaning in that context. Our program is really different from the other art history programs in Kansas and that we take a much more thematic rather than chronological view. So instead of framing art history within time periods, we'll talk about things that you might be interested in like play or power. We also offer a number of medium specific courses. If you are, um, let's say a graphic designer, you can study history of graphic design and we have a strong focus on contemporary art in part because we're the only art history program in Kansas in a metropolitan area. We also offer interaction with a variety of guest speakers from Randy Griffey, the curator of modern art at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, to Holly Clayson, distinguished professor of art history at Northwestern University, um, to Cuban artist Nestor Sire, uh, and curators from a variety of regional institutions. We also have two museums with internship opportunities, the Ulrich Museum, which is a modern and contemporary art museum on Kansas, on campus. And they actually offer two paid internships to art history majors, as well as the Wichita Art Museum, or WAM for short. You can work not just with curators, but art educators, registrars, event planners, and really experience the whole range of occupations that you could have at a museum. 
If you are interested in curatorial positions, however, you can make your own opportunities uh, at local galleries and arts organizations. You'll be hearing from a student uh, in this presentation who has curated his own exhibitions at um, Newman University uh, and a number of other places. We also offer hands-on experience in our courses that most students don't get until the graduate level. This fall, we have Bob Workman, the director, former director of the Crystal Bridges Museum of Art, uh, who is going to be working with our students on um, exhibitions, finding parallels between our current COVID situation and the Great Depression and curating works on paper show about that. Uh, our students have also curated exhibitions at the Ulrich Museum, such as Do It. Um, they have worked with local collectors, including uh, Mike McKellis, who has one of the largest collections of works by Kansas artists in the country. Um, they have worked with a French installation artist, JR, um, and gone into local classrooms. Next slide. Uh, and even found opportunities to work with our own galleries. Um, so this is one of our art history majors who helped to catalog um, the collection owned by ADSI. So we hope that you'll join us and um, I look forward to working with you in the fall. So let's hear from our graphic design faculty. Thank you, Brittany. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Irma Pushkarevich, and I am assistant professor of graphic design. It is my pleasure to introduce to you graphic design program here at Wichita State University. I'd like to familiarize you with some details of the program and also tell you something about opportunities you will have as a student of graphic design. Uh, first, the way you enroll in a graphic design program is actually in your second year. Once you've set your mind on graphic design, you will need to prepare your portfolio and submit it for the bid program review. And this is a time when you practice beginning stages of professionalism uh, through carefully collecting, curating, and presenting your best work up until that moment. Once you've enrolled in the program, you will get, to the, uh, you will get the opportunity uh, to engage in more concentrated and focused investigation of graphic design fields. And uh, here uh, are some of the key points of what you can expect to experience. Um, I can have a next slide, please. Uh, so the essence of graphic design is understanding the process, understanding the research and graphic design components and relationships between them. Uh, this means that every project will start with a brief where you learn what is the problem, and then you go on a path to try and solve this problem. Research plays key role in this um, matter. Uh, it is every designer's uh, guiding light and we devote a significant amount of time to this stage of the process. Uh, another stage of the process that we feel strongly about is the presentation of your work. We want you to be artists and express your visual voice, but also we want you to learn how to use artistic and creative elements to communicate. Um, that is to say, to articulate ideas that people can understand immediately. Uh, in this regard, you will work closely to, uh, with professors that are experienced in the profession, and we will uh, be there for your guidance and help uh, in any time you need us. Um, program courses are designed in such a way to provide you with initial instructions for the project, which you discuss with your professor and classmates. However, the projects are designed also in a such a way to give you room for independent work. We will encourage you to direct your projects and consequently expect you to be self-motivated. This is one of the most important features of successful graphic designer. Additionally, your work independence will allow you to find your own way to tackle the process and develop your own visual expression. In this program, we strive to develop such an environment where our students will be in love with, this, with their subject and where they will immerse themselves in what they do to the point where they almost forget themselves. Um, we nourish such environment because the best ideas and best creative work comes when we deeply care about the subject matter. Eventually, upon entering the real world market after you graduate, your best client work will emerge from situations when you sincerely care about the narrative that your client is trying to convey. 
Uh, presentation of your work uh, in graphic design program happens in stages. Um, for example, uh, the first stage of your work presentation revolves around your research findings, uh, which then leads to your brainstorm sessions, where you list down possible ways for problem solving and engaging in uh, group discussions about ideas that you might have helped you strengthen your critical thinking and also finding unique ways of problem solving. Some of uh, discussions will happen with teachers involved, but many discussions will be run by students themselves, critiquing each, other work, each other's work and providing constructive feedback to everyone. Um, now I would like to tell you something about opportunities you will have as a graphic design student on campus and off campus. Most prominent way of student engagement are student groups. Uh, on campus, you can join a graphic design guild group. Uh, here, students uh, of all levels of study meet up to discuss their interests related to graphic design, exchange ideas, and organize uh, guest lectures. And in this last respect, students pair up with IAGA Wichita Connection, uh, that is American Institute of Graphic Arts. This will give you the opportunity to meet local artists and designers, talk to them about their experience, learn about the events they organize, and most importantly, you will be able to invite guest speakers from the state, but also other countries, by raising funds through various activities. Um, the program also has links with industry. Of course, we maintain a close contact with local companies, and this will give you the opportunity to do internship with uh, advertising agencies uh, or design studios or in-house design departments. In this way, you will have the opportunity to work on real life projects and experience the rhythm of what we call live work environment. And in the end, I wanted to tell you what happens at the end of the graphic design program. The final semester is there to guide you to polish your work and make a portfolio that will present your creative skills in the best way. As a part of capstone class in your senior year, you will organize a show as a way of finishing your studies, but also promoting your work to the local community. Traditionally, the senior show is held at WSU Shift Space Gallery, uh, which is a student-run gallery in downtown. And this year we had an exception to this due to the global situation of the coronavirus. Our students, uh, turned instead to virtual showcase of their exhibition. They were able to adapt quickly and organize the virtual show uh, in a short amount of time very successfully. And because it is a um, viral show, you can go and look uh, at it if you are interested to see what level of work you can expect to achieve once you finish the program. Um, to summarize, a graphic design program will teach you to think it will teach you how to generate meaningful ideas, and it will allow you to mature in your artistic expression. We really want to see you succeed, and that is why we develop and monitor all these stages of the program so that we can make sure you are prepared for the real world. And um, now I hand it down to um, Studio Art. Thank you, Irma. Uh, welcome, new students, to the School of Art and Design and Creative Industries. My name is uh, Laventa Chiuk, and I am a uh, associate professor of painting and drawing. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the degree structure, our spaces, um, and um, and then uh, some closing remarks. We offer just about every kind of degree in every type of area you can imagine. Getting a degree in in, in studio arts. Uh, first, you have the choice of getting a, a bachelor's degree, which is uh, a liberal arts degree that requires a minor outside of the area. This is a fantastic degree for those students who, for example, want to uh, run an art-related business and uh, they can basically focus in a, uh, in a studio area within this degree and minor in business. So that um, basically established them to be better prepared to run a business or they can get a minor in creative writing, for example, if they wanna go into illustration and um, you know, in that sort of field, uh, having writing skills is paramount. So um, it's a more well-rounded liberal arts degree. We also have a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, which um, has the list of concentrations in it. There are eight concentrations. 
this is a fairly uh, newly updated area of the school and we wanted to make sure that we offer um, an area for every type of interest possible, uh, including community and social practice that you see on this list, which is a fairly new phenomenon in the arts. And I'm not going to take the time to, to explain what it is, but uh, essentially um, there is a, a place for almost every type of um, um, art practice within the school. Uh, the uh, spaces are, every single studio area has a dedicated um, uh, air, uh, space uh, for it, and the studios are fairly large. Uh, I can only say, having lived uh, on both the East and West Coast, that the uh, School of Art and Design here at Wichita State University offers more, more square footage of space per student than any other school I've seen. And in my opinion, one of the main requirements for making uh, fantastic art is to have the space to do it, and we have lots of it. Um, and in this image, you actually see uh, one of our uh, drawing uh, studios, but um, essentially all the areas have uh, their dedicated spaces, maybe minus social practice and electronic media where collaboration and having access to equipment to do your work is what uh, is required and, and we provide those um, as well. I think the next slide might show um, so this is um, a, a group critique uh, uh, within any of your um, areas, uh, chosen areas, you will have opportunities to speak or talk about your, your work and the work of others. We have two types of uh, critiques, um, group critiques, which is uh, um, what this image is of, is essentially um, exactly as it sounds, you um, are talking amongst uh, your classmates uh, about the work of um, individual students on, on the wall. But we also, especially at the advanced level, offer lots of individual critiques as uh, students um, develop their uh, own bodies of work. They need uh, more and more specialized um, critique. And so individual faculty are always available for individual critiques. In fact, at the uh, end um, of your degree, there is a course, um, a capstone course called uh, Senior Exhibition, where you have access to all of the other faculty in all of the other study areas for individual critiques, group critiques, and students actually have the um, opportunity to work with one another to uh, design the Senior Exhibition that includes all of the different majors in it. So it's one exhibition designed by all the students across all the areas. So it's a, it's a very community-based and um, intermedia um, collaborative experience. And I think in the next slide, uh, I have some degree highlights. Um, so as I mentioned, the BA, BFA uh, is a professional degree for the studio art practitioner or for anyone who wishes to go to uh, graduate school. And we have quite a few students uh, every single year who do get into very good graduate schools. So that degree uh, makes, makes you very prepared for that. Um, the degree is, all of the degrees, uh, the BFA especially, is designed to be specific, but also designed to be fairly open. And uh, we uh, highly encourage students to uh, become as intermediate as possible within each of these tracks. So for example, painting uh, requires one uh, course at the intro level, two at the intermediate level, from a menu of courses that are theme-based. Um, but then the amount of credit hours you have to take there are many. So you have the opportunity to essentially uh, mix and match a little bit. Just because you're a painting major, it doesn't mean that you're not taking something uh, in the third dimension or maybe even a fibers class. I mean, it just depends on your interest as you, as you develop them. And then I also wanted to mention two course, uh, courses that um, I have to say I haven't seen at other institutions, which I think are very innovative and are conducive to specific type of experiences. One of them is a slow burn course. It is a course that takes over uh, or transpires over two semesters. And it's a fantastic course because in the first semester you choose a project that you do research on um, and come up with an action plan. And in the second semester, you actually execute that plan. So the distance between ideation and execution of a work is over an entire year, which I think is a very fantastic class. And you can really uh, get into the nitty gritty of any um, creative project proposal over that long time. And uh, in opposition to that, we have um, the required th three one create hour courses called quick fire courses. These are courses that um, could be related to travel, a two-week travel, um, 
we sometimes teach a course called Drawing Marathon, where students meet on campus um, four Saturdays in a row and they draw eight hours straight each of those times. So these are courses that are uh, that could be um, perfect for any sort of opportunity and they always change the topics do. And then of course, uh, in closing, there are opportunities for internships, uh, assistantships, and collab collaborative experiences, some of which I've had mentioned already. Wichita is over half a million people in the uh, metro area, and there are dozens of gallery, uh, uh, galleries to, to uh, uh, exhibit your work in. And um, I think it's a pretty fantastic city to uh, learn about art and practice it, and uh, hopefully go on to graduate school. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Kristen to talk about uh, university-related galleries. Hello, my name is Kristen Beal. I'm the gallery manager for the School of Art and Design and Creative Industries. Uh, there are multiple gallery opportunities available to students at Wichita State. <clears throat> There's the Clayton Staples Gallery, Shift Space Gallery, the Project Space and Print Space, which are both run by graduate students, and then the Cabman Gallery in the Radigan Student Center that is run by Student Affairs. I oversee the Clayton Staples Gallery and WSU Shift Space. <clears throat> Clayton Staples Gallery is a teaching gallery located in the heart of our school. We bring four professional visiting artists a year to stage exhibitions in this gallery. Each of those artists also work with students to install their exhibitions, as well as conduct workshops and studio visits with our students. These artists also give a public lecture of their work. WSU Shift Space Gallery is our student-run gallery located in downtown Wichita. The Shift Space student group works with me to develop all programming and operations of the gallery. I'd like to introduce Carter Bryant, the Shift Space student group president, to tell you more about student opportunities with the gallery. Yeah, hi, my name is Carter Bryant. I am the outgoing Shift Space student group president. I just graduated this past semester. And Shift Space has been one of the um, greatest experiences I've had with Art and Design Creative Industries. Um, so it's a student-run gallery, so really it is an opportunity to um, not only showcase student work to the downtown Wichita area, but also get some professional experience. Um, if you get involved with the student group, which I highly recommend, um, you can learn how to design exhibitions, um, install exhibitions, and then also um, there's a potential to work for the university actually through the gallery. And um, the student group also creates programming around um, exhibitions in the gallery and uh, various activities around campus. So in the past we have um, held social events at our gallery um, or um, we've held artist talks and lectures through students around the university and the joining the shift space student group really allows you to join a um, close team and community within the school um, and it's a great way to network not only with your fellow students but um, professionals that visit the gallery as well. Okay, well, thanks to everybody who's uh, kind of given us information about uh, the various programs and things that we have. Um, we want to talk a little bit about travel. Um, we've got a faculty that really enjoy traveling and taking students to see uh, art and different cultures around the world. Um, so that's an opportunity that I hope that you'll take advantage of when you come to Wichita State. Uh, in the last few years, uh, as a sample, the faculty have taken students to Mexico a couple of times. We've gone to Cuba, Peru, Italy, England, France, Ireland, Greece, Cyprus. There's you know more more countries than that even, um, and these are great opportunities for you, especially in college, to be able to see the world and understand uh, what else is out there and available to you. Um, our students have participated also in exhibitions. They've conducted research. They've done projects overseas. So. I think these are great opportunities for you as college students to look into, and we've got faculty that would like to uh, take you along. Um, also, traveling within the states, and that may be something that we do a lot more of in the coming years, depending on how this virus goes. But we've taken students to professional conferences. Um, we go to Dallas with the graphic design students for a big show. Uh, there's lots of opportunities to be able to travel and get to know your fellow classmates, 
and just kind of expand your horizons. So I hope that you'll take advantage of that when you get here um, because those are great opportunities. Hi, my name is Emily Christensen. I'm the coordinator of external affairs for the School of Art, Design and Creative Industries. I wanna talk a little bit about the Art and Design Advocates, which is a group I work with closely. The advocates are local supporters of the arts and some of them are ATSI alumni. They raise money to support our school and most of that money is given directly to students through individual grants. You could apply for money to go to a conference, travel for a class, or design a public project. Uh, you heard from Carter earlier, the advocates reimbursed him for some expenses related to an exhibition that he curated last fall. The art design advocates are interested in making sure you have the best possible experience in college. So I highly recommend that you take advantage of the resources that they offer. One last thing to mention is that every year, the advocates host an event called Emerging Artists, which exhibits the work of some of the best students in the school. Even better, Emerging Artists offers three cash prizes to student artists of $1,000, $500 and $250. It's a great time and I urge you to work hard so that you can make it into the show. Next, Jeff is going to close by talking a little bit about orientation and advising. Thanks, Emily. Uh, everybody, once you get here to Wichita State, we're gonna ask that you go through um, an orientation session. So you've already been accepted to the university and um, those orientation sessions for this summer are gonna be online. They're required for all of our students. So they're gonna help you to um, get acclimated to college and understand the peculiarities about Wichita State that you may find. Um, all universities have these. Uh, these are gonna be self-paced modules that are online. Um, they're gonna cover the same thing that we cover in our in-person sessions normally. So virtual orientations, um, you'll, they'll have cam campus tours with transition mentors and um, student involvement activities and other kinds of activities for you. So make sure you sign up for one of those. I'd sign up for one sooner rather than later and go through that orientation session and get everything set up so that you're ready to go, okay? Next, we'll talk a little bit about advising. We've got a College of Fine Arts Advising Center with I think five advisors uh, who help our students kind of navigate their college careers. That for you guys is, is very convenient because it's located in uh, McKnight West. Um, there's a, a advising center right there for you. And they're there to help you pick classes, deal with any kind of problems that come up, questions that you have about the university, all of those kinds of things they can help you with. In addition, we also have a success coach who is there to help you succeed in college. So anything that comes up that's new or unexpected, or just a difference in, in acclimating to the university, we wanna help you figure out those problems and succeed in school. So you can talk with our success coach. Uh, she's very good at helping students uh, progress and move along through the programs. Also, for first year students, we have a special advisor um, who works with you to get your uh, schedule set up and deal with any kinds of issues you have as you tran uh, transfer through to the program. So, uh, take advantage of those advisors. They're there to help and they're a great group of people. And I think with that, uh, we'd like to say thank you for joining us. The, the Dean's going to join us here in a minute to give some closing remarks. But I want to say please stay in touch with us. Uh, all of our social media information is up on the screen. We'd love to have you follow us um, on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Uh, check out our website, see, see what we have to offer, and um, get excited about this coming fall semester. Okay, so with that, I'll turn it over to Dr. Miller and um, hope to see you all in the fall. I'm going to close out this session with just a couple of observations. Uh, one is that I think you have seen um, a very, very good uh, presentation on the comprehensive nature of the School of Art, Design, and Creative Industries. It is one of four schools that we have in the College of Fine Arts, uh, the School of Digital Arts, the School of Music, and the School of Performing Arts are the other three. And the four schools together, as I said earlier, comprise the only comprehensive College of Fine Arts in the state of Kansas. 
But one of the things that I want to emphasize is I want to welcome you to our family. And if the pandemic has taught us anything, it has really made us realize um, in a very visceral way, we truly are a family. And the reason that's important to you is because we want you to know, and I think you saw some really excellent examples today, but we really want you to know that the faculty and the staff are here to mentor, teach, and train you to become the very best that you can be, not only as an artist, but as a human being. You are choosing to dedicate your life to the most noble endeavor that mankind has ever um, devised, the intellectual, emotional, and spiritual manifestation of that which truly makes us human beings, the arts. And I want to welcome you to that creative brotherhood and want you to know that we are here to help you in any and every way that we can. And with that, I will just simply sign off by thanking all of these wonderful faculty and staff and saying to you, we are looking forward to seeing you this fall. God bless.